So we're going to take a walk through uh, another tunnel in the Chlamberis Slate Quarry. Uh, this has some train tracks running through it, which is pretty cool. Um, so after the last video in the French underground fort, a few people asked me, do you, do you feel scared? Do you, are you not kind of nervous at moments like this? And I'll be honest, in that, that French underground fort, there were times that I felt scared, but here in the tunnel just here, I mean, it's, if I just wrap my head so much on, it is a big tunnel. Uh, I can see the light behind me, if I, that's the end I just came in. Um, and I don't really feel like there's much risk of anything happening. Maybe there's a green light on my head, but um, yeah, like I could stub my toe, that would be quite painful. I'll try not to do that. Um, but in terms of like objective risk, um, a lot of it can be mitigated with a helmet. A lot of it can be mitigated by looking where you're going. Generally a good survival trait, I would say. Speaking of which, I'm just going to pay a tiny bit more attention. Um, but, like in terms of, yeah, objective risk, it's fairly minimal. If you do sensible things and take responsibility for your own actions. Uh, here we've got the edge of a, end of a tunnel. Here's a great example of why you should take, be cautious and take responsibility for your own actions. Uh, this tunnel ends like 50 meters up a cliff. So if you go down there, maybe don't. Uh, and you know, just taking responsibility for your actions, choosing not to walk out of the end of a tunnel at a run, it's probably a good plan.